Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, stay with the breath all the way out, and then again and again. Try to get the mind to stay centered here and not wander off. Noises can come. There's a the noise of the birds, there's a the noise of the cars. You just let them go past. You want to keep your mind focused on one thing. This is how we build goodness within ourselves, is by staying focused. If your mind just gets scattered all over the place, you know lots of little bits and pieces of things, but they don't all come together. And the goodness that you want to develop doesn't get developed either, because it's all scattered apart. Because we only have so much time, only so much energy in this lifetime. And you want to focus it on things that are really worthwhile. So you want to train the mind so it can stay focused. And then once you've decided that something is worth following through, okay, you have the power of mind to stick with it. Today's Labor Day, and it's, good. it's the day when we think with gratitude for all the conveniences we've got from the hard labor that other people have put forth to create our society, create all the conveniences that we have. And the best way of showing gratitude is to do something good with those conveniences. Like we have the time, we have the energy to come to a monastery. If we didn't have the roads, we couldn't have made it. If we didn't have the cars, we couldn't have made it. It all depends on the work of somebody. And so you want to make sure that that work gets put to a good purpose. Because people can drive cars, they can drive cars down the road to help other people, they can go and drive cars down the road to, to rob banks, to run away from robbing banks. That's what you, the use you get out of things, that's what makes it either good or not good. And it's a way of showing gratitude for all the convenience you have, is you try to use them for something good, instead of just for whatever. So it's good to stop and think, okay, given that you're, we're in this advanced society, how are we going to take advantage of it? We take advantage of it by training our minds, by doing good things with those conveniences. Because it's not like they're going to be here forever. Societies rise, societies fall. So you want to take advantage of things while they're here. And advantage here means developing good qualities in the mind. You want to develop your perfections. Don't develop your greed, inversion, and delusion. I mean, there's a lot of that out there, too. With the internet, it's all kinds of opportunities for lust, for anger, for all kinds of troublemaking. But there are also opportunities to do a lot of good. So try to, every time you turn these things on, every time you use these things, ask yourself, okay, what am I using this for? Is it for some good or, some, or something else? Now think of all the work that went into creating this opportunity. So try to use the opportunity well. And your best guide to that is when your mind is well trained. You learn how to stay focused, you know how to observe when the mind is going in a skillful direction, when it's going in an unskillful direction. All of these things are helpful to keep your life in line. Make sure your activities, all, all the activities that depend on the help of other people, that you're using that help for a good purpose. So when you have something to share with them, you're sharing the merit, you're not sharing the demerit of the work that they put in.